Rescue teams in the Himalayas are uh, continuing their search for possible survivors after a massive blizzard hit the mountain range earlier this week. And for more, we turn to Paul Lee at the News Center. Paul, what's the current situation on this rescue operation? Well, local officials say dozens of people were rescued on Friday. However, dozens more are still believed to be stranded in the deep snow. Improving weather conditions have allowed helicopters and troops to expand the search area. But with the death toll climbing, this disaster, the second of its kind this year, is on its way to becoming the worst mountaineering accident in recent history. Our Son Jung In takes us there. The rescue operation in Nepal continues for scores of trekkers remain unaccounted for after deadly blizzards and avalanches hit the popular Annapurna circuit earlier in the week. Mountain rescue crews and helicopters are scouring hiking trails in the Himalayas, searching for survivors of the severe snowstorm. At least 29 have been confirmed killed, including hikers from Israel, Canada, India and Poland. We were on a trip. Uh, around Annapurna, uh, uh, heavy snow, snowing and very horrible storm. The trekking agencies Association of Nepal said more than 70 people are missing. Rescue workers say some may have already left the area but simply lost contact due to poor communication links. Some 50 South Korean climbers who lost contact with authorities earlier are reported to be safe inside their cabins. As you know, there is no reception in many people, in many places in Nepal at the moment. So we don't know where is the other people, uh, but, uh, but we're sure that everything is okay. However, with so many bodies presumed to be buried under the snow, authorities warned the death toll could very well rise. The unusual snowstorms in the region appear to have been triggered by the remnants of Cyclone Hot Hot, which wreaked havoc in India last week. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.